Shalom. I want to give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash, and the honors to the apostles and others, great millstone and salutations to the hopeful elect. This is your brother, I am Nawa Allah from Jim at Chicago. And this is going to be just a quick lesson about uh, we are not of this world, all right? And we're, I know I first like to bring out John chapter 15, verse 18. Starting at verse 18. If the world hate you, ye you know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But be, because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hateth you. And yeah, you know that the, the world, these people in the world, right? These two third ass niggas, you know, these people in general, they hate us, all right? Even though we're out there doing the, the work of the Lord, these people hate us, all right? They, uh, in, in this truth, you're gonna you're gonna have scoffers and mockers. In this truth, being in this truth, you know, uh, you're not gonna be liked, all right? But hey, you know that that's that's also part of the battle, you know. Uh being this truth, um people, all right, they don't they despise your conduct, all right? They they despise the conduct that you uh, keep, which is you following these scriptures, right? And, and, and to the majority of these people, you know, uh they might see something different than you, all right? Uh but but in general, you know. These people are not uh, are not going to like us, and, and that's all right, all right. Because truly, you know, the, they really hate the Lord, all right. Um, I'm gonna bring out Amos real quick. This is Amos chapter five, verse ten. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they bore they, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. So yeah, you know, these people they hate the word, they hate the word, all right. They hate the truth, all right, because the truth hurts, all right. And, and these people in, in the world, they can't take rebuke, all right? They they buck up against rebuke. And and um, and because we're not uh, of this world, you know, uh, us brothers in this in this truth, all right? Us uh, hopeful elect, you know, we're going we're going to be uh, disliked, all right? And that's just that's just all right, you know. That's just part of the battle. We'll bring I'm gonna go back to John fifteen fifteen and twenty. Remember the word that I said unto you, the sermon is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will also keep yours. And yeah, you know, Yahweh Shai was hated as well. Alright, Yahweh Shai was despised. By these uh, worldly two third niggas, all right, because Yahweh Shai, um, Yahweh Shai is the word, all right, Yahweh Shai, you know, he, uh, just like again in Amos, you know, they hated him that rebuketh at the gate, all right, you know, these people, they, they, they hate righteousness, all right, they don't want to follow the ways of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and that's why they hate us too, because we're not of them, all right, we're not likened unto these people in the world. Because we have a whole different mindset than from them, all right? These people in the world, they have a mindset of perverseness. They have a mindset, they have a perverted mindset. They have a um, a wicked mindset, all right? And hey, uh, you know, uh, we should be we should be thankful that, that we, we have this word. We should be thankful that the Lord... Have mercy on us to obtain this word, to uh, to perceive it, to understand it, all right? Because hey, uh, the elect is just a small number that are going to be saved, and that's not a lot of people. But anyways, I'll keep reading verse twenty one. But all these things they will do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not, they had not had sin but now they have no cloak for their sin and that's right you know um you know yahweh shy you know he's prophesying the word and now these people have no excuse and us you know hopefully like we're doing the work 
All right, we're out there in the highways and byways giving warning to Israel. And now these people in the world, they have no cloak for their sin. All right, because we just gave them the warning. And truly, you know, if, if these people that come up against you, you know, these people in the world that come up against you, truly they hate Yahweh, they hate the Lord. First John 2 and I'm not trying to make this too long. Verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So yeah, you know, love not the world. All right, this this these two thirds, right? These worldly ass people, all right, they, they don't follow the ways of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And then the way that they're following right now is a death style. All right, and we don't want to be partakers of that death style. You know, especially for us brothers that they're in this truth, all right, that they know better. Right, if you fall out, you're gonna get a a worse judgment than a two third that 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 that, that uh didn't know any better. Verse verse sixteen, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but it is of the world, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Yeah, you know, we want, we want to make sure that we that we abide in the fear of the Lord, all right? We want to align ourselves with Yahweh Shai, because if we don't, like again, you know, uh, we will receive a horrible judgment than a two-third, right? Because those who know better, those who have this word but decide to drop the plow or, you know, to go on to, to prophesying false doctrines or, or whatever, you know, they're going to be receiving a horrible judgment because they they know better. Revelations 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, and that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. And yeah, you know, right now we're spiritually fleeing from Babylon, all right? You know, we're coming out of that mindset of uh, of the world, or right? that worldly ass mindset, and we're being renewed. We're we are being renewed day by day, all right, in the spirit of the Lord. All right. And uh, being not part partakers of her sins, you know, fleeing from her, uh, you know, we do that by repenting, all right, by by doing the will of the, of the Lord, you know, fearing the Lord. Zechariah 2 and 6, last but not least. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, saith the Lord, for I have spread you abroad as a flower, as the four winds of the earth. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. But yeah, it says in the NLT in verse seven, "Come away, people of Zion, who are and who are exiled in Babylon." And we are doing that spiritually, all right, by repenting, by coming back to our true power, all right, uh, coming back to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and repenting, doing doing the work, fearing the Lord, all right. And uh, you know, if you're not fleeing. From the land of the north, you know, which is uh, Babylon, which is, uh, which is so-called America, all right. You're gonna eat a missile, all right. You know, the Lord has a judgment plan for you already. Well, anyways, I was just into that lesson. Hope it was edifying. You want to give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.